this bill strikes a very good balance, I think. It doesn't completely eliminate the discussion of sexually transmitted diseases or HIV uh, in the upper grades, but uh, children, you know, 6 through 11 probably don't need that type of instruction. State Rep Terry O'Donnell presenting House Bill 2546 before the House Committee on Common Education. It would make topics of sex and gender off limits until after fifth grade. Topics would be restricted after that. Kindergarten through five, it's mm -hmm. that, that, that discussion is off the table. Mm -hmm. From six forward, it needs to be age appropriate. Conversely, you might say things to a 17-year-old that may not be appropriate for a 12-year-old. While not providing specific examples, Representative O'Donnell claims there are too many instances where individual educators have been able to teach inappropriate topics. Democratic State Rep Melissa Provenzano, one of the two no votes this morning, argued parents should at least be able to let their students opt in to some sort of sex ed. The parent that reached out to me said I needed those words sooner or I would have been exposed to two more years of molestation and not knowing how to talk about it. The premise of your question, when, we, when you start talking about sexual assault, mm -hmm. we're, we're into a different field. They should be going to a counselor or a school administrator if they can't get that assistance at home. Unlike some bills in other states, this version does not limit what a counselor can talk to a student about. House Bill 2546 passed out of committee with a vote of 10 to 2. It now moves to the full House floor for a vote.